Let's play Resonance of Fate. How picking are up, you? Uh, we're picking up the the additional two quests, and we're gonna head outside and get some combat. Okay, urgent. On his way to Core Lift One. And we have to take him a set of knives. He must have forgot. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That uh, is a a story item, key item. So we have tools, energy hexes, weapons, custom parts, accessories, apparel. Yeah, you can basically dress your characters, vanity items. I didn't really get too much into that, but there's a whole shop. I'll show that. Other, there's a key items and valuables. That's uh, request items, I guess. Other probably is quest items, valuables, or your key items. All right. I don't know where the the old guy is that we need to talk to, so let's just look around. Nobody there? Oh, there was somebody. Missed him. And I know the general layout of the place. Hey, listen. Oh, listen. Oh, okay. Being taught some respect by a child. I know the general layout layout of the the town, but I don't remember where everyone what is. Now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll explain this. I don't think this is the shop. This is uh, Ebel City's shop. Let's see. I have three thousand gold. So this guy over here can There's scrap items. This wide world can't be broken down for scrap. Yeah, and he said it all. He's a scrapper. He can dismantle things. See, we can, we can dismantle a hand grenade, hand grenade in the hollow point rounds, and it shows the parts on the right. Don't worry too much about that right now. Be seeing you. You can play around with it if you want to. This guy, oh, here's the, look at that. Here's the old guy we need to talk to anyway. Here's the. You need something crafted? I'm your man. Basically, the crafter. Have to come talk to him. We can't craft stuff on our own. But see, there's sights scopes, barrels, all this stuff and it shows the re required parts on the right hand side there which we don't have any of if you need anything else you know where to find me we this, stock any ammunition you could imagine this is the general shop, sells items first aid, cure kit escape hex Clairvoyance is basically your identifier for enemies. Escape Hex sounds like it uh, will take you out of dungeons. Cures, cure kits, cure the uh, status ailments, and first aid heals uh, scratch damage. There is a difference between scratch damage and direct damage. I will explain that when we get to the combat weapon that I don't have enough money for. And there, all those things on the bottom there, bottom left, are stats basically for the gun. And I don't remember what they all mean just yet. But we'll figure it out. Then parts and accessories. Auto trigger automatically attacks if the action cage reaches zero while charging, as long as there's at least one complete charge. And that is a really nice accessory. I'm not going to buy that yet. I will uh, either buy some or or find some I can't remember but I want I want some of those and then uh, there's some parts you can buy uh, or uh, materials for the, the crafter to make parts I want to buy some stuff here let's see I think that percentage is how fast the gauge fills up and I think that plus with the that plus six in the symbol next to that down there I think is uh, accuracy then rate of fire maybe and I don't, I don't know we'll have to check all that out I know the the stat on the right there on the bottom is weight I'm gonna I wanna get One machine gun barrel and two handgun barrels, I think. 
Yep. Uh, have a nice day. I'll show you how to customize your weapons. See that open circle matches up with that circle on the front of the gun. See it increases showing at the bottom there and the weight of the gun. Then it's not that's not uh, the the weight that this gun can handle. It's the weight that the character can handle. As they level up, you can put uh, more stuff on it. You can carry more weight. So I'm going to get uh, my barrels on my guns. See, and they made it the machine gun barrels triangle just to differentiate them from the handgun barrels. So, there's that. Let's talk to our quest giver. Yeah. No. Okay, okay, yeah. Certain quests, you don't have to talk to the, the non-player character before you do the quest. Okay. Yeah, you can go kill some stuff, but I don't think you can handle it. How are you? Well, kind of. This is your vanity shop. I'm not going to spend any time there right now. I'm, I'll just poke my head in. You guys can see what it looks like. It's the boutique lily shop for stuff. Dress your characters. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't have any money anyways. If you guys want me to demonstrate some outfits later on, maybe I will. But as far as I'm concerned, they're a luxury item and I'd rather buy gun parts. Well, yeah, I suppose. Uh, maybe you can give it a try. I doubt it. Yeah. Now we're gonna go out to the world map. Finally, get to some combat. Now this is the world map. First thing I'm gonna do is press box. And this is our on the left there shows our hexes energy hexes, colored energy hexes, which are specific. You can see some of the the hexes on the map are colored. And then these last ones are like uh, cottages, I want to say they're called. They're like basically tents, you, like uh, Final Fantasy's tents. You can set them up on the world map, and then you don't ha have to continue to use them. You Every time, you can just go to that area and rest. The world map is actually one of the few things in this game that I don't really like. And I like the world map itself. This is level 4. All this is level five, 4. And you can see the different places. They're labeled. What I don't like is that, see, see that little icon there? That, that's, that's how your character is displayed on the map. That's, that's what I don't like. Where is it that I need to go? Okay. Out combat is again complicated. You can select your target. I actually want to use my machine gun first. I'll have to alter that. You can just do a direct attack without moving, but you don't want to do that. You press box on the PlayStation 3, it's box. You see that line? My character is going to run across that line. And I'm going to charge up a gauge as I run. Now, see, two of the enemies there show leader. The other three enemies you don't have to worry about if you don't want to. You can get items killing them, but you'll get all the experience regardless. If I kill both of the leaders, the fight is over, and I get all the experience. I think killing the other enemies can get you extra items. So you press box to get the line. You can aim it. And how it's lit up blue there. That means I'm there's a line uh, between the other two characters. You can't really tell. It's kind of small. But if I go somewhere else, the li my line is red. So you want it to be blue because that will give you... Uh, a resonance. I'll explain that. So press box again. It'll start running. Press X to uh, 
fire. I can only charge to one. Because of my level. See now, ab above the names on the right there, they now show one resonance. I'll explain what that is for. And see, Zephyr is using a mach the machine gun to watch what happens to this enemy's life gauge. Okay. Now you can see that that enemy that enemy has a blue life gauge and there's another bar in front of him. It's kind of hard to see from here. There's another bar in front of him, see? That is also blue now. Some enemies have like a barrier, uh, a shield. That guy has a, a shield and the blue the blue indicates scratch damage. Scratch damage is uh, basically how you weaken the enemy and then direct damage actually does the damage. So now if any attack that does one hit point of damage will get rid of all of that blue and he, he can't get it back. See, he's gone. I want to switch to the other leader. And you press box. You press box to jump. And that, if you, if you jump right at the end of the, the battle, or the right at the end of your your line wherever you were going to run to you can actually gain a little bit more time to to charge your attack see on the map there it describes the the hex that you're on I'm on a thoroughfare that's why I could, didn't get into any combat that mark there with the the filled in hex indicates that there are no enemies there so we have to go over to this darker colored hex that's called the back alley wander around in the back alley there to get into combat it's random battle oh yeah I was gonna switch that up oh well see I can do damage without using uh, scratch damage but Scratch damage is uh, accumulates a lot faster than direct damage. See, he dropped uh, an item there. You run through that to pick it up. So you can get items in the battle as well as after the battle. And the closer to the the path that uh, he's going to run, the closer I put it to the enemy, the faster my gauge will charge. See, the way I'm going to run through the item if I selected that enemy my gauge would actually charge faster as I was running closer to him and then it would start slowing it down again as I was running farther away from him when I passed him. The same is going to be true for him but it's going to charge a little bit slower because he's a little bit farther away. The way jumping also helps because if the the shield, that, that guy's shield that I talked about in the last battle doesn't completely surround him then jumping with the machine gun kind of does uh, like a spray and pray kind of attack where where it'll hit all of the the most exterior shields that'll become more apparent when we run into some enemies that have shields that go all the way around them and we will this here see I've built up two resonance on one of your characters turn you can spend resonance like this it forms a triangle between your three characters. Pressing triangle on your controller is what brings this up. And now, the in the direction the the light is going th down the line indicates the direction that they're going to run. You can choose who you start with. You can uh, that's switching your weapon. I'm sure, there is a way to change the direction yeah press triangle again to, to change the direction and then press box to initiate the run and with two resonance it means I'll run two spots it means she'll run to where Zephyr is 
and I didn't actually introduce the, the characters yet, I guess I will. She'll run to where Zephyr is, and that'll be one resonance, and then she'll run to where Vacheron is over there in the corner, and that'll be the second resonant resonance, and that's where they will stop. So press box to commence. Seeing the other gauges there indicate the other characters charging up. I didn't actually need uh, any either of them. I just wanted to show that off. It took me ages to figure that out. I lost the first few battles I got into in this game. So now I press box to enter the hex mode. See that hex, how it's grayed out? That means it's not accessible, but the ones directly on the other side are. And you also can't place hexes where they're going to overlap the town. So, see, so you can rotate the hex. I'll drop it right there to clear that spot. And now I have access to Rainy Bridge. And you can get uh, items doing that as well. So, and I, can, I can clear... I can't clear any of those. I can't clear any of those. That red, you have to have a red hex to, to clear that. And I have to have yellow hex to clear that. So this is basically as far as I can go right now. I need a different uh, style of hex. So it's kind of like uh, Tetris in shapes. So one of my missions was to, to regain access to Rainy Bridge. I did that. And then another one was to come over here and take care of these curs. But I'm going to do that next time. I'll deliver the knife set and take care of these curs next time. Thanks for watching. Come back and we'll get some more uh, combat explanation going on here.